If you have a family that has two sons, oftentimes you have a good son and a bad son. What's pretty fascinating about that is if you check back later in life, you will almost never see that the good son went bad and the bad son went good. Though, you know, you may have a situation where the good son also went bad or the bad son went good, but you're not going to see the flip-flop where there's going to be a change to where the original good son went bad and the bad son went good. That, that very rarely happens, but you would think if you threw the spaghetti at the wall enough with uh, hundreds of millions of people in that scenario, or maybe, maybe not that many in that scenario in the United States, but at, at least millions and probably tens of millions of good son, bad son situations, you know, if people were really in control of their lives, you would think that you'd have a flip-flop there and you would see something different. But um, it's pretty scary because it starts you thinking that you, you can almost make an argument for determinism to whereas it's going to play out the way it's going to play out. But I think that there, there are some factors involved, you know, where expectations of the person, like kind of like if, you're, if your whole family went to college, you're going to go to college. But if you're the first one, it's a breakthrough thing. So when those expectations are that way, it just plays out that way. So when you have a good son, you know, he gets uh, respect from the community and he engages in positive things. And the bad son, it just attracts bad people and bad ideas and, and bad habits and everything. So it's pretty interesting, but uh, look around in the friends and family and the people that you've observed and see if you've ever seen a true flip-flop scenario. And, uh, I don't know if I've seen it, so that's why I'm making the video.